Hello everybody, uh, my name is Rodolfo and I'm studying to get my next license in the boiler industry. Uh, today I will have a little more difficult type of questions. Okay, bear with me. So question number one, what's the function of a feed water inject injector? What's the function of a feed water injector? So, a feed water injector, it's a simple device used to put feed water or chemicals into the boiler. Not used much today, as modern boilers require higher entry feed water temperatures and pressure. What's the function of a grid valve g r i d what's the function of a grid valve grid valve controls the extraction steam pressure on a controlled extraction steam turbine grid valve controls the extraction steam pressure on a controlled extraction steam turbine Name three ways that fuel oil is automized. Mechanical, automization, uh, rotary cup. Uh, pressure, automization. And steam or compressed air automization. Why would a safety valve fail to open at set pressure? Why would the safety valve fail to open at its set pressure? You could say basically, okay, that the seat on, on the valve could be rusted, okay, preventing the valve from pop, popping, okay? But if you're going for a higher license, they're expecting a little bit more. So, Another reason would be a bent spindle, okay? Or misadjustment or gagging, okay? Or failure to remove the gag after a hydro testing. Or the pressure indicating device is also be inaccurate. So your gauge for the pressure do not be reading right and you expect that's the pressure that should pop and the valve doesn't pop so it doesn't pop because the gauge is wrong okay uh, gagging okay make sure you you remove the gag okay so next why is steam extracted from the steam turbine why is steam extracted from the steam turbine? So steam, it's commonly extracted from the turbine to heat the feed water uh, to provide specific steam temperature to the process. Why is the, why, what's the function of the truss bearing on the steam turbine? What's the function of a truss bearing on a steam turbine? The truss bearing maintains proper axle position, okay? So the function of the truss bearing is to maintain proper axle position because when the steam goes through, okay, will move the blades and also push the blade and that moving blade could heat the stationary blade so to keep that this axle movement we have the thrusting bearing so the moving blade is not gonna touch the stationary blade catastrophic failure if that happens very common name two types of thrust bearing two types first type king 
Kingsbury Trust Bearing. And the second type is Tapered Land Trust Bearing. I, 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 when I was going for my license, uh, I got this kind of all the testings. I have that question. Name me three types of governors used to control the speed on the steam turbine. Name three types of governors used. So, the centrifugal one that uses the butterfly weight. So we call mechanical, okay? Then we have mechanical hydraulic control, okay? That use the butterfly for our oil to have more, uh, better operation. And we have the electronic or electro hydraulic control, okay? Why a high vacuum desirable in condensing steam turbine. Why is a high vacuum desirable in a condensing steam turbine? High vacuum in a condensing steam turbine increase the heat drop across the turbine, making more BTUs per pound of steam available to be useful work, to do useful work. High vacuum in a condensing steam turbine increase the heat drop across the turbine, making more BTUs per hour of steam available to do useful work. Um, how do economizers and air preheaters affect draft? How do economizers and air preheaters affect draft? So economizers and air preheats create a restriction to airflow that will reduce draft in airflow. Okay? That makes sense, right? The economizer is on the exhaust of the boiler and the air preheater is true. So if we have a draft fan, that will impact because Economizers and air preheaters create restriction to airflow. What's, what's the purpose of steam separator? What's the purpose of a steam separator? A steam separator is used to separate steam and moisture in the steam water drum or often before a steam turbine or steam engine. So what's the purpose of steam separator? To remove moisture from the steam, okay? Moisture into the steam could increase the amount of condensate on the steam lines that could lead to some water hammer if the steam traps fail, okay? So, just one more thing, okay? Uh, get a good sleep, okay? Because our brain, for the long-term memorization, need to be rest. As you're resting, you're gonna save this information for the long-term mem memorization. So, sleep well, okay? And... You don't need to like this, okay? You don't need to like it, okay? But keep studying and you will get the license, okay? Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.